Hello, this tutorial will show you how to create a drive surface. Here we have a mesh model and it is not possible to use a mesh as a drive surface. It has to be an herb surface. The drive surface can be a part of the model or it can be an external surface. So in this case we have to create the drive surface. So what I do is to look from the top view and then I can uh, just draw a circle for this example a circuit that will uh, enclose the model in the front view and I can move this so it will start with a surface starch and then I can create a new layer and it's good to have the drive surface in a separate layer so I just make a layer I call it DS for drive surface you can put another color and um, then we can select the mesh model for MADCAM and we can uh, just extrude this and I don't want to go all the way up and you will see that later because we are going to use the reshape function in MADCAM the reshape function uh, is something that we can use to to fit any surface to to an existing object so um, this is based on the toolpath calculation so we need to select a cutter first and uh, this model I was planning to machine with a 6 mm ball and cutter and it is recommended to use uh, a larger cutter diameter for the reshape calculation because the larger it is the, the smoother the drive surface will be so I for this example I just pick a ball and 20 millimeter cutter and then I can make the drive surface layer as my active layer and then I go to the five extra functions drive surface and the drive surface reshape function click on that select my drive surface choose direction so I want to reshape this by by projecting this surface towards the model so I click there and now uh, we see that we get a new surface that is closer much closer to the to the mesh model and we can repeat this in several times if we like so we can see it the shape is closer and closer so we can have one more go see it's now it's almost there can reshape it one once more and now it is close enough so there we have the drive surface that we can use to machine the mesh model so now I uh, pick a 6 mm ball and cutter because that's what I want to use for the machining and then I pick my drive surface and uh, when we pick the drive surface we have some options here first we have the height above drive surface and uh, <clears throat> in this case uh, we don't have to to calculate high above be because the drive surface is enclosing the model but if the drive surface was inside the model then we need to pick 
the highest point so it will calculate um, above the drive surface. The depth is uh, by default minus 10 millimeter because we use the 20 millimeter ball and cutter to reshape this drive surface but we can put a little bit more there so to be safe we can put minus 20 millimeter because if the depth below has to be enough so it will reach the model below the drive surface and here we have some options for the machine so we can put an angle limit um, so, so, so for the head so the minimum angle is 0 degrees the maximum is 180 but I think in this case we don't want to go more than 90 degrees so we just put in 90 degrees and if it's if the drive surface is curved more the 90 degrees it will lock the head so it will never go more than 90 degrees so click OK and now the drive surface is activated and now we can use any standard strategy in MADCAM so I would use uh, planar finishing and uh, when using a planar finishing from a drive surface we have the angle limit, it's measured from the, the model compared to the drive surface, so we can put 0 degrees in this case and uh, the parallel to X will be the same as parallel to the U direction of the drive surface parallel to Y is the Y direction and we can also use the contouring if we like and we can have all the other settings with ramping and blending and so on so I will just use the default setting here, so click OK and there we have the toolpath so um, I can hide the drive surface we can see and we can see here it goes uh, and we can uh, run this in the simulator we can see that the cutter goes back and forth and the the u direction is of the, in the u direction of the surface and there are several options for the direction so for example, we can uh, recalculate this toolpath. Click on the toolpath, and uh, if if the drive surface is closed and it goes in the closed direction, we can use um, climb cut or conventional. But if we use climb. Uh, MADCAM will detect that this surface is closed so it will make a spiral toolpath so it will be no it will be ju just one spiral curve so we can run this in a simulator we can see it goes in a spiral round and round but this uh, will only work if you have uh, unlimited if the C axis in the machine can uh, go as uh, unlimited turns and also if we um, if we would have a, some other 5 axis machine for example if we would using a rotary rotary head machine so I can 5 axis uh, rotary head machine then I if I would like to use that kind of machine I have to replace my model and uh, then we have to show the co control points for all the 5 axis directions 
and uh, then I can rotate my model in Rhino put it along the X axis reselect it for MADCAM and then I can run the simulator and here is how it would look in our rotary head machine so I wrote it back again select it for MADCAM again but if um, if I have a different 5-axis machine uh, like in this case we have a head-head machine and there is a limit for the Z-axis in plus minus 180 degrees so then I can't machine it like this then I have to machine it in another direction so then we just click recalculate and uh, we choose the Y direction and uh, I will use uh, mixed so it go back and forth in the Y direction click OK and now we can run this in the simulator and uh, this machine setup we also have the the head for the machine so we can simulate the motions of the head as well Now we have made a toolpath, but we need to make another one at the top of the model. So we can uh, make a new drive surface at the top. So for example, I can just use surface and I can use the patch. And I can make something, don't know just make something there we have a patch and I can go back select my 20 millimeter ball cutter and then I can use the reshape drive surface reshape function for this one and uh, yeah it's uh, it's okay but I can uh, trim this um, I can trim this uh, drive surface because when I use the reshape it will lose the trimming but it's just to re-trim it so there I have my second drive surface trimmed and it is possible to trim it because uh, uh, then then it will only machine uh, the part of the surface so the trim curves will work like region curves when using drive surfaces so I can move this to the drive surface layer and I can pick this one as my drive surface pick this one as my drive surface depth should be minus 15 <coughs> Use, uh, and then I can make new toolpath 
Oh, I have to select another cutter, 6mm cutter. Okay, and then I pick another toolpath. And uh, we can run this in a simulator. I hope this will give you some help. Thank you very much.